joining us, man. Always appreciate the time you guys give to the media. Um, <clears throat> I do want to ask about about uh, Florida State coming up, but since we have you, I want to ask. You know, you have blocked two punts this year so far. Um, I don't know if I want to say what's the secret, but what's what's been the key? What's what's been the 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 magic formula to to breaking through that wall and being able to get not one but two block punts for you uh, this season? Uh, the magic, I would say, is Coach Google. You know, uh, Coach Google, he comes every week with a great plan, a great scheme for what we're going to do, whether it's a return or whether it's a block. And it's just a matter of us going out and executing what he has planned for us and doing our job. Those plays like that, obviously, they can shift the momentum, they can change the game. You guys haven't had a big look. Well, Zondervan had a kickoff return last week, but the punt, the punt return and the punt block hasn't happened since the, the Duke game, but they can definitely change the game. What needs to happen for you guys to get back to, to making those big special teams plays moving forward? It's just, you know, um, like I said, us executing and then us having the right look of what they, what they come out with, whether, you know, it's what we've been scheming up all week or, you know, sometimes it's football, you know, so they also come out and with a, a new plan, you know, talking about the other team. So, like I said, it's just us going out, executing, and doing our jobs. Corey. Hey, Levi, first of all, I want to clarify, is it Levi or Vi? Is that, which one are you going by right now? <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. Vi, Levi. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, well, I wanted to ask you, too, I know going back to, uh, obviously it was, it's been three years now at this point, but going back to when you originally committed to, to USC, obviously – the other two finalists that you had on that list were Florida and Florida State. You know, what was it about Florida State that you liked and, and what made you ultimately uh, not choose them? Um, I was born in, in Florida, so I've been in Florida my whole life. You know, I did grow up in Texas, but we would travel to Florida. But, you know, just um, you said what made me pick SC over FSU. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it was – I was talking with Coach Bill Miller. He was the linebacker coach at the time. And also, I really loved Coach Fisher. But just like, you know, I, I love the plan they had for me, but just I felt more comfortable with the decision I had made. You know what I mean? Um, but I remember talking to Coach Fisher when he came to my house on a home visit and just asking, you know, how long did he plan on being there and whatnot. And you know, he gave me a straight up answer. So that kind of, you know, helped me out with what I was looking for, you know, what I felt like I w needed to be, if that makes sense. And being from Florida, you know, does that make this game a little more personal for you? Um, no, not really. I mean, every game is just another game, you know what I mean? But it's just another opportunity to go out and compete and so the world, everybody, everybody, what we have to offer. Thanks, bye. -bye. Uh, David. Before I ask my question, just curious, what what part of Texas are you from? I'm from Austin, Texas. Hey, me too, man. How about the Austin? Hey, anyway, sorry, I don't see that a lot around here in North Carolina. That's exciting. Well, I have some more questions about that. We'll talk later. Um, you know, it looks like you're you're going to be facing another you know dual threat quarterback. You know, what do you what do you take from what you learn? Uh, last week and, and apply that to this? Uh, for me, myself, I need to be more consistent and just finishing, you know, making making tackles. I, I hate missing tackles. I hate, you know, missing opportunities to make plays in the game. But, you know, it's just getting better each week. Like I said, I want to be more consistent. Uh, we need to finish. And, you know, that's what we're coming in with this week. We need to attack. So, Jonas. Uh, Coach Dorian talked yesterday about, yesterday about how uh, the starting quarterback for FSU got hurt and they brought in a new guy later, but he expects the starter to play. How are you guys approaching this week preparing for two different quarterbacks with, with uh, possibly two different styles? Um, Just like, like we always do, you just watch the film, you know, prepare for what they have to do. We know they like to have, um, you know, they would like to go in their, their games with, a certain amount of stuff they like to run, you know, and we just have to step up to the plate, you know, and get ready to play another dual threat. We went against a couple this year and <clears throat> we just have to handle our business. You know what I mean? 
Corey, you have another one? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Vi, you've, you've played a little bit of a uh, versatile role for this team so far this year as well. I know, obviously, you came in you know, expecting to play linebacker, but you played a little bit of nickel uh, as well as obviously playing on special teams, as we were mentioning earlier. But you know, how much do you feel like uh, your game, your versatility has, has been able to help this team as well? Um, I mean, I've always told my coaches I want to play wherever you need me, you know, wherever I can to – help put our team in the best position, you know, to win games and be successful. So anywhere, like I said, they need me, I will play. You know, I, I love the game of football, and I'm going to play every play with 100% effort and whatnot. So like I said, wherever they need me, I'm, that's me, you know. I'm going to be that guy. And I don't want to harp on your recruitment, but I wanted to ask you about the your when you initially or when you officially announced that you were going to be signing – uh, back in 2017, you did have the, the two different shirts on. You had the Florida and the Florida State shirts on, and you pulled both of them off to reveal the USC. You know, was that meant as a, as a troll? or Because I know, obviously, that was kind of the way people portrayed it, but what was the thought process going into that? Uh, honestly, I, I thought of that idea literally the morning of. I think I had to sign at 7.15 on ESPN, and I was up by 6.15. And I remember going into my brother's room, like, you know, I have all these clothes, all these shirts and stuff. Like, what should I do? You know, he's like, you could have all the sweatshirts out and just pick up a sweatshirt. I was like, you know, I'm just probably going to put all these clothes on and then, like, boom, open the jacket. Woo -woo, you know, so that's how it was. It wasn't really a troll or anything. It's just that that, that was my way just of just announcing it. You know, I didn't expect it to be how it was. You know, like no idea it was going to be as big as it was. But like I said, it was just a, my way of announcing it. You know, it wasn't throwing no shade or anything like that. Thanks. Justin Williams. Hey, Vi, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Uh, last year when you had to sit out because of the transfer protocol, you won the defensive scout player of the year and also the special teams scout player of the year. Can you talk about what your development was like last year in terms of how that's prepared you for playing this season and, and what your attitude was to win both of those awards last season despite not being able to play? Um, so when Coach Jordan told me that the NCAA said I had to sit out and, and whatnot, you know, obviously I was upset. I wasn't didn't go the wrong way. You know, I wanted to play. I wanted to be able to help, help our team and whatnot. But <clears throat> I just took it as a year to – work on my craft and get better, you know, um, have more confidence about myself, work on my pass rush moves, work on getting stronger in the weight room. And like I said, just building my craft, you know, and I feel like that year really helped, you know, just to get acclimated in NC State and the system and how the standard is here. You know, it was a really, it was a really big uh, help year for me. Thank you. David, you have another one? Yeah, last Austin nerd out. I didn't realize you went to Westlake. I went to Bowie, small world. Anyway. Oh, Bowie, Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't competition. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, Bowie definitely was competition when I was in school. Also, when my brothers was in school. Bowie always uh, gave everyone a run for their money. We got slightly better, I guess, since when I was in there. Uh, not that I played, but, um, you know, I, I know every game's important, but, but for this one, playing against an FSU team, that's not quite what they normally are. You know, how necessary is it just to kind of turn the tide of, of this year and, and finish the season? You know, you guys are on such a great trajectory. It's been a, a, a tough couple of weeks. Um, I mean, Florida State is a, is a great program. I mean, they won the national championship six years ago. You know what I mean? So it's not like they're, they don't got good players or good coaches and whatnot. They're a great team and they're not going to just let us, they're not going to come here and just let us roll over them, you know, and beat them. So we know, we know that, we understand that. We know we have to come with, everything we got just like every week. And like I said earlier, we just have to finish, you know, um, finish strong, you know, and as, as well as the rest of the season and uh, take each game, uh, game one by one, you know, play by play and, you know, finish. <clears throat> All right, Jonas, you want to finish this up with Levi? Yeah, I have one more question about special teams and, and playing on that unit. I mean, for a lot of guys, it's, it's like an afterthought. I mean, obviously, you want to play linebacker and play your position, but 
a lot of, a lot of guys really don't take that kind of pride in, in playing special teams. How big is that that part of the game, and how much pride do you take on playing the special teams and, and turning the momentum in the game sometimes? Um, special teams is probably the most important, one of the most important phases of the game. And going into my freshman and sophomore year, that was, especially my freshman year, that was a huge role that I had on, on, the, on the team that I was on. And at first, I'm like, well, I don't want to do this. Like, I want to play defense, you know, I want to make tackles and whatnot, but I can still make plays on special teams, you know. And later throughout the season, I figured that out. You know, I was lucky and blessed. I don't believe in luck, but I was blessed to have Coach Baxter, John Baxter, as my special teams coach. And he taught us a lot more than just being on special teams. You know, he taught us how it correlated to your position, you know, making plays in open space and defeating blocks, you know, blocking on blocking and tackling on the same play. You know, there's only that's only on the punt team. You do that. You know what I mean? Or or, you know, what I mean? yeah. So for me, the special teams role, the special teams part of the game is very important. You get very serious. And I, I love being being able to go and, and represent my team on that unit. Could you could you tell as a follow up? At the Duke game and the uh, Virginia game, and even when Bam had kickoff return against Miami, could you feel the momentum shift in each one of those situations when the special teams made a big play? Yeah, of course, especially when Duke blocked the punt first. When Duke got the punt, me, I was like, wow, there's no way. They got it before I did, you know? So that it lit a fire under me even more to go out there and get it back, you know? And then we did, and we scored off of it. So I feel like that was a big switch momentum push in the game you know and especially when bam got his his kickoff return i was sitting over there with the defense and like oh wow that was huge we needed that you know it's just like it's something we get more points and the offense didn't have to get the points you know what i mean and i know it deflates the other team so yeah i appreciate it man all right levi we appreciate you